introduce Byron Donalds. Thank you, Dan. Dan, you introduced me a lot, by the way. I <laughs> noticed that. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, first, I want to thank Senator Scott, Senator Lee, for joining us. Uh, what you have here is our leaders, people committed to getting our country back on track. You know, I say to a lot of constituents, we have a lot of elected officials in politics, a lot. We got one at 1600, but we don't have a lot of leaders in politics. And what you're seeing up here are men and women who are prepared to lead this country. But what we're not going to do is get into the silly political games of throwing out names and, 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 and shaming other people's plans. I'll be honest about Joe Biden's budget, which is his plan. It's insane. He wants to spend $7 trillion of money we don't have. As a country, we only raise about $4.6 to $4.8 trillion a year. He wants to spend seven. This is like in anybody who at home, if you make $4,000 a month and you spend $5,000 a month, you got a problem. If Joe Biden was your husband, he would, well, he would say, honey, I know we only make $4,000 a month, but let's spend $7,000 a month. You know that does not work. Every wife in America would shudder if that was her husband. And what we're doing up here is saying we have to get back to basics when it comes to spending. Spending money back to pre-COVID levels only makes sense because COVID is over. Yeah. Even Joe Biden has finally admitted to that. So let's get back there. And to our colleagues, both Republican and Democrat, we have to get serious about the fiscal outlook of the country. We cannot just continue to follow CBO baselines as if they are the holy grail for how we spend money in Washington. The Congressional Budget Office works for us. We should be looking at the baseline and saying, what can we live with spending today because we don't have money and our future are the people who are really going to suffer as a result. Last piece, to the press secretary over at the White House who said that our plan is to create a five alarm fire, you're lying. I wish you would just take an economics course because spending money the way Joe Biden wants to, that is the five alarm fire. If Joe Biden truly believes that his border plan, spending more money for this radical uh, asylum process that he has, is only going to make matters better in the country, go ask the mayors of Chicago and New York because they're asking the federal government for money to take care of the migrant problem that Joe, Bri Joe Biden has brought to the United States. We have to be serious. We have to be adults. So like Congresswoman Boebert, I invite the president. Come on down, man. Let's talk. We'll have a very good conversation. And maybe we finally will get somewhere as opposed to this back and forth between the TV cameras. But we got to get serious. We have to lead. And so I'm glad for my colleagues here. And I challenge the other members of the House and the Senate, let's just sit down and start going through spreadsheets, guys. Line by line, let's figure it out. That's what families do. That's what the American people want us to do here on Capitol Hill. I yield back.